We'll just start with a really simple calculation to begin with, which will be a percentage of our present value. The formula is A equals P, then in brackets one plus R. A being the future value, P being the present value or principal, and one plus R, R being the interest rate. So that will be the rate of interest that we will be adding to our present value. In this case, we're gonna use 5%. So to calculate that as a decimal, we will take five and divide that by 100 to get 0 0.05. So we calculate what's in the brackets first. So we do one plus 0 0.05 to give us 1.05. And then we simply times that by 100. So our value at the end of one year is £105 based on 5% on £100 starting amount. Now we'll add to this formula by adding in a time factor. So we then want to compound this original investment amount by 5% per year for a period of time. And in this case, we're going to do it for 10 years years. So in this example, we've got the formula A equals P, then it's one plus R, and then T is the period of time. So that's to the power of T, to the power of our period of time. So to break that down, we'll have 100, then in brackets, one plus 0 0.05, and then to the power of 10. Now to the power button on this calculator is right here, X with what looks like a little box next to it. So again, we work out the element that's in the brackets first. So we'll take our one plus 0 0.05 equals 1.05. And then we need to compound that by our 10 years. So we're doing 100 pounds invested and it's compounding at 5% per year for 10 years to the power of 10 is 1.63. And very simply, we need to take that figure and we times that by our present value to give us our future value. So in 10 years time, 100 pounds invested for 10 years at 5% per year will be 162 pounds and 89 pence. In the next example, we're going to change it so that the interest is applied every single month. So it's still 5% per year, but the interest will be added on a monthly basis. And you'll see the impact that that has because of course, we're not compounding it at the end of the year, we're compounding it each month across the whole year. So the formula for this is A equals P, then it's one plus, and then R over N, which is our number of times compounded per year. And that's to the power of N T. So that's N, which is number of times compounded per year, and then times T, which is our number of years, our time factor. So again, first of all, we'll work out what's in the brackets first. First of all, we'll take the number of times compounded per year and times that by our number of years. So we know we've got 12 periods, 12 months in one year, and we've got this for 10 years. So we'll do 12 times 10 and that will get us 120. We'll then calculate what is in the brackets. So that will be 0 0.05 divided by 12, and then we'll plus the one, and we can then, to the power of 120, is 1.647. We can then times that by our original sum, and we'd get £164.70. In this next example, we'll keep it really simple. We've got £100 starting deposit, and then we're gonna invest £100 per year, be doing that for 10 years, and again, we've got a 5% growth rate. So the formula for that is A equals P, and then one plus R, and then T is obviously our period of time, so that'd be 10 years. And then we add a second part to this formula, which is one plus R, then T minus one over R. So we just need to work this out in stages. So we'll do the right-hand side first. So we'll do what's in the brackets. So that's one plus R. So that's one plus 0 0.05, R 5% equals 1.05. And we actually compound that by 10, 10 years minus R1, and then divide that by our interest rate again, 0.05. Then we need to do the second part of this equation, add 
and then we can put this into brackets 1 plus 0 0.05 close brackets to the power of 10 years and then we times that answer by our principal amount 100 to give us our answer of 1420 spot 68. So again this is a hundred pounds starting amount, a hundred pounds added in each year growing at five percent for ten years. Now obviously you can use these formulas in many different ways obviously for different amounts and can use these formulas in loads of different ways. So you can just adjust those numbers accordingly. It's a great way if you don't have access to an Excel spreadsheet or you can't Google it and you just simply want to calculate a compounding at a certain rate as to what the return would be over a period of time, then this is a great and simple way to do so. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching.